Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a chit chat get ready with me video. I haven't done this for months, I think I only did one, one video on my time on YouTube. And I think it's uh, time for a new one and I'm going to show you a couple of new products that I'm using and talk about what's happening in my life right now. Not much, but something is happening. And yeah, if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. This video might be a little bit long, but it's just because I want to talk to you guys and I want to do every step in this video so you can see what I usually do or use every day. Now you maybe hear my children playing, they are cleaning their room. We are get, getting ready for a birthday party. My sister's son, he turned two years last week and I'm so excited, he's so cute. My sister has three children and I see them like my own. So I, I'm very excited. We are going to have a barbecue and eat some wonderful cake and just play with the children and have an amazing time. So I'm getting ready for that. I'm going to show you what I do every day for my face skincare. I use this Eucarine. I can't pronounce this name, but I use this Hyaluron filler, concentrated filler drops, and I use a couple of drops every morning and every, in, every evening before my moisturizer. Love doing that. I saw this helped my, my deep wrinkle on my forehead look much better I look, disappear a little bit and my wrinkles around my eyes are less visible and I love doing this so then I like to go in with my new face or oh, face eye cream and I use this uh, L'Occitan this is Regard Divine Ultimate Youth Eye Cream from, from L'Occitan this is the packaging and this is how the cream looks. I haven't seen much difference. It feels good on under my eyes. Put that all over slightly tab. I think I saw Kathleen Light talk about L'Occitan for months ago and I tried to find that video again but I couldn't. And a couple of other YouTubers talking about L'Occitane. And we do have the store here in Sweden. And it's very expensive. And I was curious. I do like these products. I haven't used them for a long time. So I can't really say if they do anything. I was happy with uh, my other eye cream that I used. I can put the link down below. Uh, if you're interested to see what I've used. And what minimized my pores and minimized my wrinkles. I love that face skin routine, but I just like changes. I like to change. I get bored using the same pro product over and over again. And then I go also with this extract from L'Occitane. This is Ultimate Youth Face Serum. And I'll be using this also for a couple of weeks, I think, th two, three weeks. I feel like my skin looks ver very, very healthy. Smells nice. A little bit strong in the beginning. Yesterday I got this Dermosensifier. This is eye and lip contour cream. Straightens skin structure and boosts radiance, reduce wrinkles. Eye and lip contour cream from the same brand. And I used that yesterday. I got it yesterday. And I used it on my lips. I feel like my lips get a little bit plumpier. I don't know, I can't see difference, but I feel like that. I'm going to put some on my lips and of course, just feeling strange to have our cream on the lips. And just a little bit around my eyes. Really like this brand, love this brand. This is my favorite brand for skincare. But I, like I said, I like to change and use different products. Okay, feel like it's time to move on. After serum, I go with my day cream, hyaluronic filler day cream from normal skin to combination skin. And why everything sets, all the serum and face cream and eye creams, 
I like do my eyebrows. So I'm going to do that. And for that, I'm going to go in with this uh, Revolution Brow Pomade. And what's happening on my channel? Well, I film a lot of videos and I have new products that I'm trying out. I also got Dentaway kit and this is for, for whitening. And I'm going to try that on my channel also. I didn't have time to film that yesterday when it arrived. So guys, the summer is almost here and I'm so excited. Of course, we're going to travel a little bit. I have my mom staying at our house when we travel because I have a, got a small, very small garden, but I have flowers that I really am attached to and want someone to take care of them. And I want to vlog, start vlogging. I want to vlog and show you guys everything. I tried to buy a camera, Canon G7. Uh, and yeah, it's a little bit expensive for me right now. So I'm not going to able to get that camera. And I'm very sad. The camera that I film in with is Canon EOS 600D. And uh, it's a little bit too big to travel and go around with. It's a little bit heavy. I did travel with it before and I don't think it's very easy to travel with. So I'll try to vlog with my phone. I don't know if that's going to be a wonderful quality because it is iPhone 10 or X. And I love that phone. But And I do did buy the one with the biggest space used to film with camera so and every time i try to vlog with the phone i wasn't happy and i threw away the videos so we'll see then i'm going to go take my concealer and today i'm going to use this nars concealer for my under eyes but i'll go around my eyebrows i like to use revolution number c7 So I'm sad that I can't uh, monetize my videos because I uh, haven't reached the viewer limit that you have to reach. So I'm sad about that, but I hope that more people will watch my videos. I love doing YouTube. YouTube is my safe place, even if I know the hundreds of people are watching, hopefully, uh, or at least a couple of people. I love that. I'm so grateful that someone out there really takes time and watch my videos and give me support. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Okay, so I did my eyebrows and I'm going to put some of the eyeshadow primer and I'm going to use Urban Decay eyeshadow primer portion. Work that, blend that. I'm going to set my eyeshadow primer with Revolution Pro setting powder. I'm actually going to use my blending brush just to set everything. I need to set my eyeshadow primer. Doesn't matter what kind of primer I have, if I don't set it with powder, not the uh, eyeshadow, the powder, it's going to crease. And I'm going to set and film that video, but it's going to take me so much time. And the video I'm talking about, if you haven't seen any of my other videos that I'm talking about that, is that I bought a lot of eyeshadow primers and I have very oily eyelids. So I'm trying them out a couple of weeks to see which one works better. Now I'm going to take some tape. Today I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette. This is the Magic by Jouer. And that looks like this. love this palette. Still going into my eyes. Uh, and I'm going to go into uh, this, take this shade all over my eyelid. I was very excited that Laura Lee came out with Nudie Patootie palette. And I didn't order it from her website because the shipping was too expensive. So I waited for it to come uh, on Beauty Bay and I was so happy that, it, uh, that she put her palette on Beauty Bay. Because I ordered a lot of things from there. And I did order it, 
with free shipping and you can track it. And I ordered it the day it came out and it still haven't arrived. And the sad thing is I didn't, I can't track it. I don't know where it is. And I did contact them and they wanted me to wait a couple of days to see if it's going to arrive. I am so sad because I really want to do and try, do a review and try that palette. I think that the shades look wonderful, but I still haven't received it. I really don't know where it is. I'm going to go into this shade in my crease, just a little bit, and then build it up. Then I also ordered the new eyeshadows on uh, Revolution, the Obsession eyeshadows. Haven't received those either, so I'm waiting for them to come. I'm going to do a review of those too. They look so beautiful, so pigmented. Haven't tried uh, Ob Obsession eyeshadows. I tried their blushes, I love them, but I haven't tried the eyeshadows, so I'm very excited. But I'm still waiting for them too to come. And I also bought a couple of things, Bomb Bomb Cream and a couple of other things from another website that I haven't received. So three packages, I'm waiting for them. And I wait, I'm already waiting for three weeks right now. And it's sad. It never took that long for anything to come if it's not from Wish. So I don't know why it takes that long time right now. Well, so I'm going to take more of that shade and build it right in the crease. Dip it up. Maybe I should use another brush. Yes, I'm going to go in with this brush. This is Zoeva 221 Soft Crease Brush. And take that Nana shade again. So uh, that is what's coming up on my channel. Also, I'm going to do couple of other videos that I already planned but I didn't have time to sit down and film them. I need a couple of hours just to sit down, talk to you guys, film those videos. I'm very excited. I want you to learn more about me, to find out who I am and what I do. And of course I want to do a giveaway. So the new giveaway is coming. Subscribe so you don't miss that. I'm very excited. And I guess I don't know if I'm going to continue with the unboxing of Glossy Box. Uh, then I'm going to go in with this shade here, right in the crease. I'm going to use this brush. This is number seven, I think. Small crease brush from BH Cosmetics. So me and my husband, we celebrated our 10th anniversary. We've been married for 10 years and we were celebrating that. So I bought two concert tickets for him to see a band that he loves. And he gave me, I'm very excited, a personal shopper, two hours with a personal shopper, some uh, present card with money that I can buy stuff over there. And I'm very excited. I can't wait to do that. I feel like I need another darker brown shade. I don't, ha don't have a dark brown here. Let me see if I can pull out another palette. Soft Glam or BH. I love this palette. Oh, and I'm going to go into this shade with the same brush. Yeah. That was missing. Then I'm going to clean this brush just a little bit and go with orange soda just to blend the edges a little bit. And I saw on Instagram this week that uh, many people from US are celebrating Mother's Day. But Mother's Day here in Sweden is the May 27th. So it's day after my mom's birthday. We celebrate her birthday. And then me and my sister, we go to her place the day after and uh, have a Mother's Day. Sometimes we take her out for lunch and shopping and we'll see what we are going to do next week okay then i'm going to cut the crease and for that i'm going to use this nars i have wrinkly eyelids and hooded eyes so this is not very easy to do on my eyes i found like my eyes are not the same this this one is more hooded than this one they're not even, so it's very hard to make 
makeup even too. It's very hard. So I'm going to take this Baron shade all over my eyelid. And I'm going to try to use a brush. And this is the eyeshadow brush from um, the body shop. I don't know if I'm going to use it wet. So I went to see an eye doctor a couple of uh, weeks ago and it turned out that this eye got better for 25%, better than it was. So I had to buy new glasses and I did that. I bought two pair, but one pair is sunglasses. And I'm trying them out. I don't know if they're too light or not. I don't want my I I, I don't want sunglasses to be too dark. But also I want them to be to have some purpose. I'm going to try to wet this eyeshadow. It looks wonderful, but I'm very interested to see how it's wet. Scandinavian. Let's take some eyeshadow first. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> I turned the wrong side. Uh, that's not wet. I hate this mist on this spray. This is beautiful. Uh, this is so beautiful. I started a series where I use all palettes, all favorite palettes and create makeup looks. I was looking through my makeup collection and I found eyeshadow palettes that I loved. I stopped using because I try new palettes all the time and I love that. I'm not complaining. I love trying new eyeshadow palettes. Palettes are my obsession. Makeup is my obsession. It's a dangerous one and it's expensive one. But I don't smoke, I don't uh, buy clothes all the time, I don't buy uh, expensive stuff, I buy makeup. And everyone has something they, they, that they love and spend, the, spend their money on, and makeup is my ob obsession. And I don't judge anyone, and I don't like anyone judging me, either. So, then I'm going to deep up... This and I'm going to go back with soft glam just because I need that dark brown shade. And uh, the brush I'm gonna use is this one, but I need to get it clean. The goal for this year is to reach 2000 subscribers and to get so many views so I can start monetizing my videos. And I'm a little bit sad that I can't do that, that I didn't reach so much what watch time but i hope that will change so i need a teeny weeny eyeshadow brush so i can go into my crease bobby brown brush and i'm going to take that dark brown shade from soft now and go slightly here and blend I shouldn't done that. I don't like how it looks, but we're going, going to continue using it. Like that was a mistake, but we learn from our mistakes, don't we? Let's try to blend now. Go back to the Juvet's palette and take Nana again, that brush, and blend. So I'm going to take my eyeliner from Steve Laurent and create a thin eyeliner or small, small wing. I met some wonderful people here on YouTube that I consider like my friends. And that's amazing. I love that. I love those people. I think they're wonderful. And uh, I don't know, they're just part of me right now. Take this kind of brush and go into soft glam again, that dark brown. And I'm going to smudge that over the eyeliner. So I'm trying to talk my, my sister into doing more videos with me. And she is very happy to do that. But guys, what do you want to see us to do together on my channel? 
Is there anything you want us to try or uh, questions to answer or please let me know down below. What would you like to see me try or talk about on, with my sister on my channel, with my twin? She's my best friend. Okay, then I'm going to remove uh, this. It's time to go in with foundation. You know when you start a makeup look and it turns out, and you have something in your, in your head how it's supposed to look and it turns out totally different? That is what happens almost every time. When I do my makeup, sometimes it turns out better, sometimes it turns like out like a disaster. I'm going to go into this within with this primer. This is Revolution Pro Pore Primer. Take. And the foundation I'm going to use today, this Wet n Wild foundation, but I'm going to blend it in with uh, LA Girl Pro Sponge. I bought this for maybe three days ago and I was and I'm trying it out. I love this sponge. This is an amazing blending sponge. Like it a lot. It reminds me of Beauty Blender. I'm still sad about not being blonde anymore. I love my brown ha hair, don't get me wrong, but I enjoyed being blonde. And I'm missing my long blonde hair. I know it didn't look always good. I don't care. I love being blonde. So guys, tell me down below, what are you going to do in the summer? Are you going to travel? Are you going to do something uh, special at home? Taking it slow this summer? What are you going to do? I'm very curious. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can with my phone because, like I said in the beginning, I can't afford the camera, vlogging camera, and this camera that I have, it's not very easy to travel with and not easy to vlog with. This video is going to be a little bit long. I was getting some comments on my older videos where people think it's that my videos are long. My videos are long. Some of my videos are long. But you can see that before you click on them and I do talk like talking about some other products in my videos and uh, just something that I like to do and that's me and I do try products that I didn't work for me a couple of times just to see that if there is anything that make, can make them work I don't think you should always throw away or give away something that didn't work maybe you need to use it with some different products, maybe use it in another way, blend it with some special brush or sponge, I don't know. I'm going to go in with concealer. So I do give my makeup that didn't work for me a couple of uh, chances and I do ask other people that love that product how they use them and try to use it the same way and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work but I don't like throwing away the product or giving it uh, giving it away the first after first time I've used it. I'm using my Aerospun powder that I haven't used for months, feels like. And I forgot how much I like it. And I'm going to use Wet n Wild, like I always do. I'm almost, I did hit the pan if you see. Love this product. product. I'm considering of buying that uh, contour palette from Kate Von D and I always go to Sephora and look at it but for some reason I don't buy it and everyone loves it it's a little bit expensive when I look at it I have it in my hand I always think no I don't need it I already have one palette from Anastasia that I use but I actually don't use it that much so just for doing something a little bit different than usual I'm going to bronze my face with Milani number nine Dolce baked bronzer and I like using this but I really love that position 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 formula so I forgot about this one okay then I'm going to use the blush and blush I took out the BH Cosmetics palette here it is this palette I love this palette and I'm going to use hmm, pink number three I love these two shades I take this one in the middle I'm going to use today. Smile, you're on candy camera. 
it's time for low lash lines so we are going in with first we're going in with this shade please let me know guys which video is of mine is your favorite what would you like to see me doing on my channel or reviewing or creating I would like to know you're going to blend that to clean this brush a little bit and go into this uh, Casey the lightest shade that we had all over crease just to soft it up a little bit here and blend then I'm going to take this tiny eyeshadow and go into the soft glam palette and take that br dark brown shade again uh, this one and just blend it right under the low lash line just to connect these two lower and upper lash line and so I'm going to go with my favorite for now uh, Anastasia Amrezi uh, I use this a lot I do love Ofra highlighters I love them but uh, what I like to do right now I like to use this brush this is the small contouring brush but I love using it for uh, the highlight I put a lot of the highlight and then I like just to wet the brush to make it more intense see I forgot to contour my nose I need to do that I need to do that and I'm actually going to go into uh, this palette because I like contouring my nose with uh, this shade in the middle. I'm going to finish my makeup look and put some mascara on and I'll be right back. So this is the final look guys. I uh, hope you like it. I'd use this, uh, this is Celebrity Skin from uh, Jeffree Star. Uh, lipstick and I have this lip band from Wood Lip Line, I don't know, an old lip band and I did my mascara, I used L'Oreal's mascara and yeah, that was everything. So guys, please let me know down below what you want to see in the future on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye!